Remember, the goal is the castle. Get to the castle. Who wants to go first? Over here! I me, do! Me, me! Hey, all right, Matilda. Uh, always a bright space. Step right up. Keep your wings, legs, and feet inside the slingshot. Shoot it! Times. Okie doke. Fire! <laughs> She can shoot fireballs out of her butt. Hey guys, what's going on? Chris here with Shughead Gaming, bringing you my review for Angry Birds VR, Isle of Pigs. Developed by Resolution Games, and while this is currently available on various VR platforms, this review will of course be on the PSVR version and reviewed on the PS4 Pro. Angry Birds VR Isle of Pigs releases March 26, 2019 for an estimated price of $15. Of course, that depends on your region. Join Red, Chuck, Bomb, and the Blues to save the stolen eggs in Angry Birds VR a la Pigs, an immersive VR adventure. Choose from different angles to make your slingshot, using classic Angry Birds gameplay elements to progress and strive for the best possible score. Angry Birds VR seems like a no-brainer in VR, but does my go-to bathroom game make the transition to virtual reality in proper form? Let's find out. As always guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more PSVR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for video updates, hit that bell icon. As always, let's kick things off with a look at graphics. Simply put, this is visually the same game you played on your phone or tablet, but wrapped around you in VR. The bright and colorful visuals with their simple yet polished textures all return and look great in the headset, and when first jumping in, I couldn't help but smile at the almost surreal feeling that comes from jumping inside a game world you've literally only seen previously on a 6-inch screen. Some slight aliasing can be seen on the destructible portions of the environment, and while it seems surprising given the nature of the visuals, it was still very minor and didn't really detract from the overall quality. Animations of the pigs and birds was expectedly very decent, with all the different bird types having their own facial animations, and of course coming off as my wife would say, adorable. That being said, we have been spoiled with games such as Astrobot and Moss, and given the jump to VR, I would have liked to see more interaction and little moments with my bird artillery before launching them to their inevitable deaths. As it is, you can look at them up close, but that's about it. Overall, a nice and polished debut for Angry Birds in VR, if not just a bit too samey and safe. Sound is up next. <laughs> Like the visuals, it's Angry Birds, and it sounds like Angry Birds, the snorting pigs and the cheer of launching birds you know and love, but now in VR. Similarly, the music is the same happy Nintendo platformer style of previous games, keeping the atmosphere bright and cheery. Sounds of destruction are handled competently and do seem to have a bit more punch to them now in VR, as the boom of dynamite and especially the bomb birds can really fill the sound mix with dominance, and never failing to get a smile. Like the visuals, everything here is really well done and super polished, but for veterans of the series it can come off just a bit too familiar, and I would have appreciated a bit more spectacle for the jump into VR. And that brings us to gameplay. Angry Birds VR again doesn't reinvent the wheel here and sticks with the tried and true Angry Birds gameplay. Across four worlds and 50 levels, you, your slingshot, and your crew of trusty suicide birds again attempt to literally topple the evil pigs. The same awesome physics engine returns here as you are tasked with using your limited arsenal of birds to figure out how to take out all the pigs in a given level, using the falling environment, shoddy craftsmanship, and poor bomb disposal practices. Using the mandatory two move controllers here in VR, you literally load, aim, and fire your own slingshot, and using a combination of angle and velocity, launch your angry birds as strategically as you can. While little has changed in the core gameplay, VR has brought to the table the welcomed ability to choose among a variety of vantage points. This was awesome for locating and firing at hidden weak spots, and definitely added to the overall experience. In addition, the ability to manually aim my slingshot allowed me to obtain some sneaky angles and firing positions that previously would have been just not a thing in this series. 
Tracking of the moves was, for the most part, really good, with the only issue being the odd angle where one move was covering another and required a bit of repositioning. The standard red bird is again accompanied by the booster activated yellow bird, the blue bird with its ability to spread into three, and of course, my personal favorite, the black bomb bird. The order in which these birds can be used is predetermined and based on each level, so figuring out how to use a given bird at a given time is also part of the strategy. So here's the thing. Angry Birds VR plays great in VR. It's the same addictive game as before, simply made better in VR. In fact, with the added strategy made possible by manually aiming and multiple viewing angles, it's really the only way I want to play this series now. But it's just too damn easy. For some reason, the overall level complexity and difficulty seems to have been dumbed down for VR. Gone are the levels I would literally spend an hour on trying every possible way to solve a level. Score chasers will, of course, easily triple this time by striving for 3-star ratings, but the fact remains that I was rarely challenged and found most levels pretty simple to solve. Angry Birds VR can be played either sitting or standing, and with a moderate amount of room recommended. As you are stationary the whole time, motion sickness shouldn't be an issue. And finally, that brings us to Fun Factor and my final review. Angry Birds VR Isle of Pigs brought the tried and true Angry Birds formula to VR. The result is a very fun and polished experience that played it maybe just a bit too safe and just left me wanting. More content has been promised, but this is unlikely to be more difficult and also not guaranteed to be free. As you know, I hate number ratings and instead rate games based on a scale of buy, wait for a sale, or burn it to the ground. Angry Birds VR Isle of Pigs for me is a really tough one as it's fun and polished, but short and easy. For $15, I guess it's priced alright, but waiting for a sale or at least that incoming additional content might still be a good idea, especially if you just don't have to play this. Anyways guys, that's it for me. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more PSVR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for video updates, hit that bell icon. I will catch you guys on my next video.